Let's take a couple of moments and we're going to check out um, the color and illumination and custom background images that you can put on your Pioneer Next head unit. Even though your particular receiver may have buttons on the side or across the bottom like this one, the on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer Next models. AVH 4100 Next, 4200 Next, and 4201 Next. AVIC 5100 Next, 5200 Next, and 5201 Next. AVIC 6100 Next, 6200 Next, 6201 Next. AVIC 7100 Next, 7200 Next, 7201 Next. AVIC 8100 Next, 8200 Next, and AVIC 8201 Next. So to get started with the background colors, let's take a look at what we have right now. Right now we have a motion background going on here in sort of a purple-blue color, and we have a kind of a purple-blue color on the illumination on the hard keys on the bottom. So all these things are adjustable, and let's take a look at how you do that. We'll start off by touching the gears, and we want to go to the color palette. And that gives us a bunch of different options here. The background, illumination, the theme, the clock, and the splash screen. So let's start off with the illumination. These are the hard keys across the bottom. And here we have a number of illumination preset colors. And when I touch any one of those, you can see that the color is changing on the uh, buttons on the bottom. Now, if you want the, uh, the colors to continuously uh, change, you can just touch the rainbow uh, circle over here. And now the, the colors on the illumination will continuously cycle through the different colors that are available. And you can see that happening on the screen now. If you want a very precise color setting, all we have to do here is, uh, well, I'm going to choose this blue for right now, and we're going to touch the one with the gears. Touch the setting with the gears, you can see we're over at the blue. Now here I can choose a different color. I can drag this slider to a different spot if I want. Maybe I want, uh, let's see, let's go with a green color in the illumination. And this is my brightness down here. I can make this a very dim green color, a little bit brighter, or a nice bright green color down here. Now I like that color so I want to save it as a preset. So all I have to do is press and hold the memo button for a couple seconds. When it beeps that's now saved as a preset uh, with this green color here. So let's go back up and I can choose the blue color, the red color here, but remember I like that green so I'm gonna go back to my settings, touch memo, and that takes us right back to that green color and we'll go back up here. Next, let's take a look at the theme and the background settings. And these two things kind of work in combination with each other. And uh, So we have the home screen here and the AV screen, and these are two different things. So let's touch the home screen first. And this is the home screen that we get when we touch the home button here. And you can see the background on the home screen right here right now. And there's some presets that you can use for the background on the home screen. And maybe we'll choose this one right here. And if I want to set this one, I have to touch the Apply button. So that applied uh, this, this particular image to the home screen uh, background image. Now I have a different one that I can do for my AV screen. The AV screen is the active screen that you see when you're on any given source. And I have a number of different things to choose here, choose from here. A number of different still images that I can choose from. And if I scroll along here, I have some motion images that I can choose from. That's the one that we started with. Here's a different motion image. And we can import our own images, but we'll get to that in just a second. So we'll go back here and we'll choose, uh, we'll choose this image for right now as the background on my AV screen. And I'm going to touch the Apply button. So now when I look at the home screen, I have one image here in the background. Touch the AV screen and I have a separate image there in the background. Now let's go to the theme setting, because like I said, theme and background kind of work in conjunction with each other. So when we touch theme, this is the overall look of the screen that we have going on here. This is kind of a purple and green theme. Here you have uh, some redder colors in the theme, red and brown colors in the theme here, and then blue and green colors in the theme. And you get changes to the home screen, as well as to the AV screens. 
we also have kind of a grade look to the whole thing as well so for right now I'm going to choose this one and uh, let's now go to um, back to our background images and we'll do a custom background image so if I want a custom background image, I want to touch this thing here with just kind of a photo of a mountains and the moon and a magnifying glass. That's the search function. And this is my imported image, but we haven't imported anything yet, so we need to do that. So we'll touch the search function. Now I can search for images on my USB 1, USB 2, or the SD card. Um, and on certain models you have SD card available. Other models won't have an SD card slot available. Depends on your particular head unit model. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to choose USB 2. There we go. And here are some of the images that I have available. And these are JPEG images stored on my USB thumb drive. Be sure to format your USB thumb drive as FAT32 or NTFS. And JPEG images are what you can import. So for this particular one, we'll choose uh, this image here. Now that copies that image onto the home screen or the AV screen or both if you want. So on my home screen here I'm going to say apply and that copies the rocket image to my home, AV, my home screen. Now for the AV screen let's import a different image and we'll do that from USB 2 again and we'll choose uh, this one There's the AV screen image and we'll say apply there. So now if I exit out of here, this is my home screen and you can see the rocket image on the home screen. And if I choose an AV source, there is the rocks on the AV source screen. Now we have some other adjustments we can do here as well. So let's go back into the uh, settings and the color palette and we'll go back to the background settings. I also have a spectrum analyzer available for whoops too far there a spectrum analyzer available for my background settings we'll say apply that on the AV screen if I hit the X to escape you can see that when we are playing music on any of the AV screens with volume just up a little bit you can see the spectrum analyzer doing what it does let's go back in there again we'll go to the background I also have the option to switch everything off in the background for no distractions. So I'm going to go back over here and choose my, uh, choose my custom image that I put in there. And we'll say apply. And then we'll check the clock setting. Now the clock setting, this is not how you uh, set the clock, but this is just an overall look of the clock. You can see we have some uh, very sharp digital numbers here, more rounded numbers over here. So we're going to choose that one and we'll hit the X and you can see that the clock image has changed to that. Let's go back in there again. Go to change the clock. And if I want, I can switch the clock off. Now this only switches the clock off on the AV screen. If you're using navigation, the clock will remain. So you can see that I have no clock up here on my AV screens now. Now let's go in and take a look at the splash screen. Let's uh, touch the gears and we'll go back to the color palette and the splash screen down at the bottom here. This is my splash screen or the screen that I see when the system first powers up when I, when I switch on the car. And I have a couple of different preset images that I can choose from uh, that are built in from the factory. You can choose any one of those if you like them. And if you want, you can import your own image. Uh, I can import this from USB 1, USB 2, and in this demonstration I'm going to import from the SD card. And here's a logo that I want to see when the system starts up. So we'll touch the apply button here. And when that's done, this will now be the splash screen when my system starts up. So I'm going to hit the X here. Now I'm going to restart the system. And there you can see the splash screen that's come up before the system powers up. And when the system powers up, you can see my home screen with the rocket engine in there uh, still saved. One last thing to look at in the custom background images, we'll touch the gears up here. And we want the color palette. 
and we will take a look at the export settings. Now, I have a, a background, illumination, theme, clock, and splash screen available here all to make adjustments. If I touch the export button here, I can export illumination, the theme, and that splash screen to an SD card if I want to, if that's built into the system. Uh, I can e export it there, and then I could take that card to another next head unit and install the same custom images. And all I have to do here is select the ones that I want and say export to the SD card. Once you're done with that, you can hit the X to escape.